Well, ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Meet the Chicago Historians, direct from the John DeVita Broadcast Center on the northwest side of Chicago on Monday, December the 19th, and the year is 2011. Well, friends, we all remember Exhibitors Carpet Service, which has changed their name to Carpet Warehouse at 4300 West Montrose Avenue in Chicago, and now they have a new location at 440 Sheridan Road in Highwood, Illinois, called Carpet of Highwood. Stop in and see Mike at Carpet Warehouse, 4300 Montrose Avenue, and their phone number is area code 773-283-0100, or see Brian Muir, Muir at 440 Sheridan Road in Highwood, and their phone number is 847-266-1400. For any carpets you need for your living room, dining room, bedroom, den, or family room, go to either location, 4300 West Montrose Avenue in Chicago, which is now called Carpet Warehouse, or Carpet of Highwood, which is located at 440 Sheridan Road in Highwood. Again, in Chicago, 4300 Montrose Avenue, area code 273-283-0100, or in Highwood, their phone number is area code 847-266-1400. If you need any kind of a carpet for your living room, dining room, bedroom, then family room, and of course, right after the bad weather will disappear in March, April, May, you may need a, an indoor-outdoor carpeting for your deck. Stop in and see Brian Muir at 440 Sheridan Road in Highwood or Mike at 4300 Montrose Avenue in Chicago. And be sure you tell them you heard it on Meet the Chicago Historians. And now back to our panel and Jack Ryan. Go ahead, Jack. Hey, folks, we're back from break now. And we're going to continue. We've been talking about Our Lady of the Angels, and uh, that certainly is something that we, all, we, we, we never talk enough about and uh, know enough about. And uh, still to this day, it was how many years later would that be? Like 53 years 53 later? Years, 53 yeah. years. Yeah. yeah. So that's... Yeah. Yeah. Can't be. I'm not that old. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, 58. Yeah. 1958 was it? Yeah. Before Castro? It was before. Uh, before Castro. Before, yeah. yeah. It was before. before what else yeah. happened in 59? Yeah. White Sox won a pennant before. Yeah, right. The, before uh, Alaska the and Hawaii were admitted to the yeah, right. following year? Yeah. Yeah. yeah very right. good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember that? The poor flag makers, they went out and they got a 49 star flag. And <laughs> right. and, you know, guess that's oh, they, they probably loved it. What do you mean? Hey, you got to buy another new flag. I'm sorry. That's right, the poor public. Yeah. I'm sure this is in the book, To Sleep with the Angels, but I'm wondering how long before the fire had there been a fire drill? Not too, that, not too uh, uh, long before that. And they, they or not, not a drill, an inspection. Mm -hmm. Is what yeah. is what it was then. Yeah. But not where the kids would leave the building. No, no. That's well. Just look back, yeah. Jeanette, in, in your own uh, when you were going. All of us going to school. How many fire drills did you ever have? Can you remember? Park. Maybe yeah. one a year. Yeah. At, yeah. 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 In Chicago yeah. public, they had them more often. I yeah. Okay. Say. I went to Parkville school once. I would say. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. In fact, they talked it to us sometimes. Yeah. Now, don't forget if yeah. there's anything. Yeah. You know, but put your coat on. You know, if it's. find the key to the door because sometimes. Yeah. Sister would, you know, there yeah. was always a kid in the room who acted So up one of the teaching nuns could reasonably room. assume that perhaps the safest place to keep these students is in the room, despite the smoke coming in, all that sort of thing. Well, yeah. you know, that was the problem. They had yeah. a lot of smoke down that hallway, and uh, she opened the door. You opened the door, right. you know, right. she knew yeah. you couldn't get out, so right. where are you going to go? The windows. Yeah. They went yeah. to the windows. Yeah. They yeah. left everything, you know. And, and it's easy to say now, of course. Mm -hmm. exactly. But if they'd have left everything sealed and that, but you know, those buildings weren't sealed like they are now. Right. And and right. and nobody knew when the kids had opened the door. They didn't know. 
and you know, something like, else. Like we all say, it's one of those things that happen. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. right. And something else is, if you can recall back, we had wooden plank floors. Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Powdered oh, on yeah. that room. And so even wood. the steps, yeah. and then they were edged in a piece of iron. But, yeah. you know, it and, you and know, they closed stairways, the all yeah. these basic things we take for granted. Right. Yeah. And they all right. had had probably 40 coats of varnish. Varnish. Right. Right. Sure. Yeah. Every, you know? every year they yeah. put a coat of this, varnish. This yes. kid that started it, and I've got a picture, and, and, and I, I don't know if I'll bring it out, but it, it shows in the bathrooms, in the boys' bathroom of, remember how we used to take a lighter and hold it up to the ceiling and write your name or a... Who would do a thing? Or, yeah, who would do a thing? Shot. Uh, yeah. Uh, that could have start, started anything, couldn't well, it? Well, I, I mean, that's... Would you want to show it on the was. ceiling right, right yeah. now? And, <laughs> and this guy is, uh, uh, he was found and he was uh, uh, driving a truck in California. A uh, couple, of, couple of the women that were very active with the FOLA uh, went out there and talked to the local fire chief and police chief and told them that this guy is living here and, and uh, to let them know who is who is in the area and who's in his jurisdiction. He's dead now. And was that played up in the paper? Or no, was no. that a quiet, yeah. No. Monsignor Egan, that who I believe was an assistant at Our Lady of Angels. He was in, he was in residence there. Okay, I, he was yeah. in residence. Yeah. He told me and two other guys years later uh, that a person had been found in a hallway uh, by a barrel uh, where the fire had apparently been set and uh, this uh, person had been seen engaged in an act which those of you on the fire department know is uh, a telltale sign of uh, firebugs. And for whatever reason, they quietly, I guess, put him, I was told anyway by Egan, they put him in a mental institution. And I don't know what happened after that. but uh, I don't think that that's true, uh, okay. Pat. Uh, he, he was also... Uh, uh, had set fires out in the in the suburbs in Cicero. Okay, in Cicero. Fact, yeah. Okay, yeah. And, okay. And, and, and there uh, was yeah. a fatality at and, one of the And I, I have never heard that he was put in a mental okay. institution. Okay, because uh, Egan Egan uh, told they, us they, that they, they he would had been never put bring away. it out. They were afraid that some of these parents and the the relatives right. and that would assassinate him. Oh yeah, and they would well, have. They would have. Yeah. They would have killed, killed him. Sure. They would have killed him. And the question of how this person could live with himself with well, this tragedy well, hanging you know, over. Yeah, that, but he was he was a minor too, you know, he was still. A, yeah. See, and also when you're nuts, you're guided by different lights than we are. Uh, we would think that it's such a horrible thing we couldn't live with ourselves. We might have had elation. But if you're yeah. uh, if you're yeah. crazy, yeah. you know, I mean, look at these guys that strap on uh, bombs and go yeah. into That's a true. supermarket. Yeah. They think they're doing a wonderful thing. Sure. We think it's a horrible thing. Yeah. yeah. You know. People immolate themselves. People. Uh, yeah. We're yeah. Mentality. Yeah. 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 They're they're. Or I imagine it, our arsonists who love the fire, but they would hate the thought of causing a death. But still, there are others who they don't think about. They don't, they don't think about it. No. Yeah. And they yeah. they do Most come back. Them, and, and if, if it's not a fire for profit. Then it's a fire for sexual pleasure. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Most and, yeah. and they yeah. take pictures of people. You know, I was stopped by the photographers one time and said, hey, didn't I see you at the 211? Yeah, yeah, sure. I chase fires. I'm in the fire line. Oh, okay. You know. Didn't think you were a suspect. Mm -hmm. you no. Know, mm -hmm. uh, but but uh, mm -hmm. I know people that, in fact, Steve Lasker took pictures. You know, it's one thing looking at the building and then they turn around and you know this probably too, Pat. And then he take a picture, yeah. scan, you know, yeah. pictures. Hey, there's someone over there, you know. Uh, it's a shame Hal Bruno just died here. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He uh, was at the several fire. Several months ago on that, and he was, yeah, he was yeah. quite a uh, a person that, to talk to about that. He, yeah, he yeah. was there. He was riding with the squad that day. He made a comment. He said if, if the door uh, to the second floor hallway, if it had been fireproofed, uh, it would have uh, held... Uh, the, the smoke and f and flame, et cetera, yeah. uh, for enough time for the kids to get out. Mm -hmm. And I was just talking to uh, Joe Murray, who was a fireman, still alive, was at the fire, He's, and he went to school there. He said on the first floor, see that building uh, had also been the church, was the original mm -hmm. church. Mm -hmm. And when the new church was built in 39, then it, they, they uh, 
uh, transformed it into completely into school uh, uh, classrooms. He said there was a door with a, a metal door on the first floor because it had originally was to go, going into the sacristy to the church, and they mm -hmm. they evidently protected that, you know. Mm -hmm. But they didn't do it on the second floor. It was a regular door, but it was a, a wooden <coughs> door, you know. Sure. That, and the panels burn through and nothing flat. I guess you know. You know all of those all of those buildings around that time, uh, firehouses that I know of, they had the wooden windows, uh, uh, casement windows, and they were all rattling. And they were, mm -hmm. you know, there was no such thing as putting, no. you know, some type of insulation right. around them. No. That, you know, oh, no. right, right. No. Another thing I've often noticed, and I'm certainly not an expert on fire escapes or fire safety or anything like that, but when I was in the 1970s, I was in Bismarck, North Dakota, and I was staying in a hotel that is so old that it may have been used by Custer on a couple occasions huh? when he was in Bismarck. <laughs> yeah. It's that old. But they had, by each window in the hotel, they had rope ladders, I mean, <laughs> with you know, uh, yeah, metal yeah. bars that yeah. you could just climb out the window, <laughs> and it was like anchored into oh, yeah. the wall, and it was wow. pretty solid. And I kind of wondered, you know, and I was thinking of the Our Lady of the Angels fire even then. I wonder how many lives could have been saved yeah. if they had used this 19th century escape remedy yeah. uh, in in the uh, uh, in the school. You know, I don't know. What I mean, it, yeah. Well, you know, they they had a front entrance, rear entrance. They just couldn't weren't able to take it. Yeah. You know, but if the, the kids um, could have gotten out the windows yeah, on these yeah. these rope ladders, you kind of wonder. Okay, that's fires fifty three years ago. Nobody still. If you got a rope ladder today, no, no, no. no today is something else. But, I know. You know. Well, it's, it's, yeah. It's, you know, that's funny. But we we tend to look on recently. Uh, what older is technology is yeah. being yeah. passe. And yeah. it's, you yeah. know, no. who, would, who would want to have something like that now? You know? Not no. today. We're not, not talking then, now. You know, that's yeah. old. That's old. That's pre World War One stuff. Yeah. I think, you know, Could you yeah. imagine you a said. third grader with a rope ladder in there? <laughs> yeah. well, what fun they'd have. <laughs> they, 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 yeah. <laughs> a, any recess, why, oops. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was my point. Yeah. Everything was so infallible. There was never anything that was going to happen. No. This yeah. is, I mean, it, when or I the nuns would take care of them. Yeah. The well, various and, moments. and you asked about the inspection, and and, yeah. that, and and that yes, there was an inspection. Henry Anselmo was a yeah, fire was, inspector uh -huh. there, and he went through there. Uh, I mean, he came from that neighborhood, yeah. and and uh, his report said everything is up That's to code. Well, it was the code. It was it was the previous code. code. Yeah. You know, yeah. Tony Pilas, yeah. as you said, he was in the bureau at the time. He was in the school yeah. on the business, you know, uh, with his children. He didn't write up anything. The one thing they did notice, they said the fire extinguishers were, were like three feet off the ground or something. Kids could not have. Yeah. Yeah. And also the window ledges. Mm. There is something. Window ledge. There you are. And yeah. another yeah. thing. You know, a, a fourth or fifth grader, it, it's Could three feet it. off the ground. And another thing, if you think about it, it might not have been every school, but I know it was in ours. Those were not windows that you did this and you opened it. They were like partition. There was something oh, you about had them. This sections? Was, sections. This yeah. was permanent. Mm -hmm. Maybe. That might remind me of it. Yeah. And then yeah. maybe this one opened, you know? Yeah. I don't you even recall the windows. Window. Yeah. It was and I went there. to two, you know, we had two grammar school buildings there. They're both wood floored. They had both been built in the 1880s or 1890s. One thing, though, and, and, and when we were talking about, we had a firehouse right across the street. And there was a teacher in second grade, Sister in Coronado. She was a SSND school mm -hmm. sister in Notre Dame. Every time they had a run, she stopped class. Say a prayer. And say a prayer. Mm -hmm. Firemen don't get injured. People don't get injured. Yeah. You know, never mm -hmm. forgot that. And a teacher like that in high school, if you heard yeah. the siren go by, you yeah. started praying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The, the, and, uh, the uh, go ahead. <laughs> hey, well, maybe that was, and then the, the fire truck one who would, uh, they were uh, work, cleaning the floor or doing work inside the building. They would pull the fire truck out across the street, park it by our school. So on recess, I'd go over there and I'd be looking at all the tools. Well, how come that's got a red line, that's got a blue line? I'd be sitting on the, I remember Mac, they had a Bulldog Mac, Mac spelled out mm -hmm. on the on the axle uh, hub, you know, hub cap. And I'd it used to be right there behind Kimiskey Park, Mac trucks, remember? Yeah, sure. Yeah, now 30, Summit. 33rd and Wentworth. Not far from yeah. me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, I think... 63rd in there. And, yeah. yeah. 
I just think, you know, that was that was the big impression. And I was there for 12 years. You know, the high school was, you know, 200 feet away. So I was You're in grade school for 12 years. <laughs> yeah, in grade, grade school. For <laughs> <laughs> Felt like it. Huh? But I did. I did graduate. They let him out <laughs> <laughs> when he was shaving. Well, when he was shaving. <laughs> <laughs> but no, grammar in high school and a fire all in the 1600 block of Hudson Avenue. And, you know, they're all gone. Yeah. I didn't yeah. mean to ridicule you there, Ken. We had a kid go right from eighth grade to the Air Force, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I, uh, I wanted to mention, excuse me, Jay, uh, the, the, some of the people that run this uh, OLA, uh, one of them lives out in Arlington Heights. And for the last, uh, I would say, the last three or four years, uh, the pastor out there, Bill Silvesky, uh, is kind of an actor. He likes plays and stuff like that. Well, the last Friday in Lent, uh, they have a uh, Stations of the Cross that is oh. just dedicated mm -hmm. to Our Lady of the Angels mm -hmm. Choir. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, it's it's yeah. a tearjerker. Yeah. You know, if you've been in there, and a lot of the the uh, survivors and the parents and and, and siblings uh, and they'd go. And whoever put this together, it was really, it was yeah. really something, you know. Uh, they portray everybody. They portray the kids. They portray uh, uh, the the janitor, the the priest. Uh, uh, it, it really is something. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I I would like to see them uh, videotape this yeah. thing, yeah. you know. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, and I'm hoping they continue with that because right. uh, I took my grandkids there and they. They didn't know anything about it, but mm -hmm. that really, that really mm -hmm. set them off. <coughs> this is where at uh, St. James in Arlington Heights. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay. You know, the other thing I was thinking, just imagine having that tragedy in your family history. You know, just right. like all of us, we think about oh, Grandma and Grandpa. You were talking about mm -hmm. your dad. You know, and and and, uh, and that you can relate history. Just imagine that a tragedy like that being part of your. Uh, family history that that every year you're reminded of it. You know, it's almost mm -hmm. you know, like a, a, a mm -hmm. when you have a loved one pass away and say, "No, this was mama or grandma's or mm -hmm. my wife. My wife has been dead." You know, mm -hmm. when, after we, major tragedies like the Our Lady of the Angels Food Fire, is there a, even a slightly significant upward leap in those firemen who just can't cope and then retire? Uh, some I, of them, not some so of much. Them not did. so much. Uh, uh, some of them did, Rich. Uh, uh -huh. uh, but but you know what? It's uh, uh, we have all of this the stress management and all of that now, uh, and that was that's just been started within the yeah. last now it might what, be fifteen but, years. But, yeah, uh, back in fifty eight. Uh, but yeah. back then you didn't. Right. You know, we didn't right. have anything. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. I was at the our late, uh, uh, Illinois Central crash. And uh, just coming Ooh, home and, and, what, and yeah. with the kids and that, and uh, yeah. nothing, yeah. nothing. I went home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I I went to bed. My wife said, "What's the matter with you?" She says, "How? What are you crying about?" Yeah. And I said, "Just leave me alone no. for for a while." And I mm -hmm. had to sleep it off and, and right. that. Mm -hmm. But that's what you did. Yeah. You know, bite the bullet and sw you know, And right. we are going through that today as the soldier. Yeah, it sure. is now called no. post traumatic. Yes. Yeah, uh, right. right. Before he was either mental or yeah. disillusioned. Uh, shell or shock. Yeah. Remember they used shell that shock was that was the word. that was the word. No one knew what the hell it meant. Thank yeah. God we had we George Pat in our family. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> one of one of my first assignments <laughs> as a reporter was to cover a fire on Kenmore Avenue, you know, back when it was, you know, the heart of uptown, uptown and all. Right. And there was a fire there, and there were two fatalities, you know, burned beyond recognition. I was standing right by the front door when they were carrying him out, and I got a whiff. It was the Ooh. first time I had ever smelled Human. something no. like that. No. And I turned over, and I upchucked by a tree. No. Mm. Fireman, very well-meaning, came by and said, when you're through filing the story, go and get yourself a bottle of Jack Daniels. 
Well, now, yeah. if I did that every time in my life, mm -hmm. something you know. disagreed. Yeah, yeah. I'd be, I'd yeah. be a raving. He'd also be poor. Right. But that <laughs> was the standard yes. cure mm -hmm. in okay. those days. He didn't mean any harm. He was no. giving me oh, yeah. you yeah. Know, the wisdom of yeah. the time. Where, where was the fire? Do you recall what oh, block it was? It was on, uh, like, uh, oh, Kenmore near, not far from St. Edith's Church. It was, okay. But it was on Kenmore Avenue there. Back, near back Catalpa, when, <laughs> Bryn Mawr in there. Yeah, yeah, back when that was rooming houses and flop houses yeah. and all of Kenmore that sort and of thing. Through bad, bad streets. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. And it was, it was one of these things. Uh, and, Malden, and, yeah, yeah, Malden, Beacon, Dover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they were carrying out the, uh, you know, yeah. the plastic bags, and yeah. uh, they were in there, and I got a whiff of it, and I had never, mm -hmm. I had not been told beforehand. Yeah, <coughs> you know. Yeah, <laughs> cover oh sure. Your, yeah, you know, cover your nose or whatever. We did they probably didn't know they were there? What's worse, maybe, is where you make a rescue, Bill. And uh, and then you find out later to, that the person and, died. And you, and know. you may mm -hmm. have some of the skin on your yeah your yeah. Coat yeah. And, yeah. And, and that, that makes yeah. me think of the old uh, these old wagon guys. They tell you have to make oh. removals of yeah. dead and dead and yeah. somewhere. Always have cigars and some some schnapps or something to <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you, if you want to have no friends in the world, have removal more of those to make. You don't know? yeah. <laughs> have any friends. Yeah. Yeah. Get a job. Can I tell you a story? And the fire yeah. department was oh, was we we had. When the old refrigerators were around, with with that old gas in it, we got refrigerators yeah. all the time. So and, and I was ammonia, the squad ammonia, and we had that, yeah. and and I never smoked. You know, I, I just never smoked, uh, and I was always the youngest guy on the on the rig. But uh, we we'd go in and we we'd take it out, and uh, we didn't have any mask or anything, and and that stuff would just. Permeate. It would grab ah. your lungs and ah. just squeeze mm. your lungs and you're mm. out there coughing. I and I used to, oh, yeah, oh, that was terrible stuff. Yeah. And and you'd be out there and you'd be coughing and that. And here you look over and here's one of the old timers. He's got a cigarette <laughs> out. Yeah. <in> his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, I got to tell you quick the story. It's working uh, days. It was a Saturday and I get a call. It's a man in charge, and I love man in charge calls. So it's a fire, uh, policeman. He's on the wagon in, uh, at Harrison at Kedzie 11th District, and he's got a DOA removal, and uh, the guy's been dead for like three or four days, and the odor is terrible. And he said, and I knew him. I, he had been on the canteen before he came on. He's still on the police department. He said, can I get some, you know, like a truck company in there or a squad with mass? I said, sure. So I had truck 36 over there. So truck gets there. It was right at lunchtime, too. So they said, you know, well, what do you got? And he said, well, you know, we got a body. And instead of firemen, they, they get the body bag. They put Sticker. their masks on. They go up, and yeah. they make the removal, put them in the wagon, you know. And this guy's partner, he was not in charge of the wagon. He had a wagon partner. The guy saying, I don't think we can do this. Uh, I, you, you need a sergeant to authorize. He's saying, what are you talking about? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the fireman put the body in, you know, in the body bag, put it in the wagon, and out they go to the, to, you know, and he said, yeah, hey, he that's. Couldn't handle it. Yeah, he oh. couldn't, yeah. Couldn't handle it. That yeah. was the way to do it. I don't know if that ever happened to you, Jack, yeah. because I know you worked the wagon for. Well, I, I don't know. If I did everything. Maybe yeah. Jack of all trades. Yeah. Well, that's what I call you, Jack. Me. That was my model. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, you know, you could call the fire department, and they, you know, a lot of times assist the police. Yeah. That's a yeah. that's a common, yeah. you know, usually yeah. it's with a ladder or something, you know, where they but need to get up on a... I, I told my partner, who was a bit younger than myself, I said, <clears throat> one thing we got to do, okay, you get, if there's if there's some kind of a decomposition, look for some paper, to newspapers you can grab, even with your gloves, around whatever you got to grab to pick up. We go, pick up, get it out of here and get it done. Yeah. Don't, don't even think about it. Just yeah. do it. Just do yeah. it. Because you're not going to anybody to help you. Yeah. No. On the no. job, on the police department anyway. Oh, yeah. And, so you know, we, they used to get used these. a lot of shower curtains. Yeah. 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 A lot yeah. of uh, the Skid Row hotels oh, over Lord, there. those chicken coops. Yeah, chicken, uh, you know. Yeah. And yeah. they'd be there dead three or four. In <laughs> fact, we had a brother, and it's I think he's still alive, taught at St. Michael's. One of his... Um, um, project shall we say and it's coming up the time is coming up between christmas and new year's he always would take a group of us down to the morgue it was down on polk yeah, street 1828 yeah, polk yeah, yeah. and Behind we'd give a tour there. there and it was to you know you know and then it, we'd go into the bait first of all the odor when you walk in the ether odor and then you know what was worse <laughs> every body that's brought in is photographed because after a while they have to bury them, and you know sometimes mm -hmm. somebody say, well, you know we're looking to make an ID, so we'd be looking there, and people burned. And he said 
Anybody who isn't identified, you know, right away is going to be brought into the morgue, you know. And the other one is, it, within hours, there's such changes. It's such changes, I mean, yeah. You know, you can go from <coughs> this to this. To the, yeah, okay. and, mm -hmm. and he showed us, it, we went into the basement, and people, the, the bodies yeah. there, you know, they fished out of the water, they're red, they're, oh. they're green, they're puffed up, uh, and no they're decomposing. And he said, you know, in fact, one of, one of our guys had curly hair, and he said, you know what, he said, if you were brought in here, he said, we might think that uh, that you're uh, African American because mm -hmm. you got the curly mm -hmm. hair. You know, mm -hmm. the guy was his name was Schmidt. You know, sure, and your color tone <laughs> change, color tone, everything. everything you know, yeah. and it would really wake you up a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, oh, yes. said, oh boy, you know. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> raised my my kids out in uh, a lily white neighborhood, and uh, Johnny, you know, yeah. made sure that I took him to the morgue. Yeah. To Ooh. the jail. Yeah. Yeah. No and, idea. And he used to ride with me. Yeah. And and uh, yeah. be uh, you know in the projects and uh, yeah. to see how the other half lived and yeah. to see what right. the real world was mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm I'm sorry that I'm not around with the grandkids to do that to, to do them that. anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I I wish I'd have brought my daughter um, now that I'm thinking yeah. of, uh, mm -hmm. of it. You know, uh, see how that other go to that the other half lived. Go to the Cook yeah. County we do. Oh. Cook County. Uh, Emergency room, you know, you bring oh, people, and you see, yeah. you see, and you see people <coughs> there lined, you know, not lined up, but sitting there, you know, mm -hmm. and the police officer is checking them all in, and and and, and then they're doing triage sure. work. What's you know, mm -hmm. right in the hall? Yeah, yeah. Not in the emergency room. Oh. You're shot, that's the place well, to the go. Cook County well, emergency room, and I'm talking about the old, the one old one. Yeah, yeah I'm Georgia. talking about the old one too. Uh, when again, as a reporter, I was down there on a couple occasions, and it, you know, what it reminded me of the hospital scene in Gone with the Wind, where you had all of these guys sitting down, hunched up, waiting to be, you know, taken care of, yeah. and you had a few guys on cots, and, and, and you know, it just, it oh, just yeah. didn't look like 20th century Oh, America. no, it, oh. it wasn't, and, and in fact, you know, just to show some levity, I'll never forget, we, we, we had a, a baby, you know, we had, the, it was a, the, a sedan, it was a four-door sedan vehicle normally didn't make removals but the the captain there said you know it was a baby that i don't know was probably running a temperature he just put the from the projects you know roosevelt and racine he said come on mama get in here with the baby we go there so w we come out there and he's he, he's laughing he said you know there's a sign in there you know what that damn sign says in the waiting room don't drop your peanut shells on the floor. <laughs> oh my lord! Oh my lord! <laughs> I mean, that—that's the thing he remembered. He had, don't drop your peanut shells on the floor. Who would think you need one? <laughs> well, <laughs> let's see what is it that if you have a doctor or a nurse that was trained and did their yeah. practice, you know, yeah. in the emergency. You got That's the where best. They to go. Yeah. You got the best. Oh, you got the best. Nothing yeah. that happens there is ever in the medical. I, I, you know <laughs> what? And I've seen doctors that. That in the ER rooms in the hospital and that that somebody goes down and they say, call the paramedics. Mm -hmm. And here yeah. you got doctors and nurses. Yeah. Yeah. Call the paramedics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. they handle that stuff all, mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, sure. mm -hmm. Mayor Daly, mm -hmm. when when he had the heart attack at his doctor's office, you know, they had we had just gotten paramedics and we had put the paramedics in. You know, was it over mm -hmm. on uh, Michigan Avenue? Was it Michigan? Yeah, yeah. his doctor was at Rush. Presbyterian St. Luke's, though, right? Wasn't it? I, you know, I. Yeah, I, I think I, he I was. Think so. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't recall the doctor's yeah, name, but, but he led to paramedics. You know, we all became EMTs, and uh, and uh, the, the, we had paramedics teacher, and they said we can walk in within two, three, four minutes. We know what's wrong with you. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. practical experience. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. they're, they're they're handling ten, fifteen they, yeah. people a day. Every day they work. Mm -hmm. They can tell, mm -hmm. you know. I got a good I got a good story a uh, county hospital story to r wrap up this p segment with. Uh, I was in the school unit in, uh, from 1990 to 94 when I got my bad arthritis and all that. But in the summertime, you get detailed in one of the districts. So I was over in 12, and I was at the uh, county hospital at a back desk, what they call police work. Now, the county hospital had its own little police force, <laughs> own little police force of its own. Not. Sheriff's police, or whatever county. But, you know. oh. So anyway, I was talking to the one guy, and this was true. I told him the story. I said, my grandfather, my mother's father, died here in 1929. And he says to me, I don't know what it looked like. He says, 
you're all just a young guy then, wasn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, I was minus 17 at the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Leave them laughing, they say, but that, yeah. was, that was a true story. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're just now about... Now you saw the intelligence, too. <laughs> well, whatever, whatever. What can I say? That guy was well-meaning, he did his job well. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, you know, Let's you never, take a break. But you never know how you view someone else if you're not in the family. Because I was riding with a young kid, too, and I said, remember when saw Wait a minute, when were you born? <laughs> oh, yeah. Right with a recruit. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. When Rashford was boss or something. Wait a minute, when were you born? Oh, forget it. I, I was, we were talking about the fire one time. We were talking about a fire light. Well, I was at a fire in the 5400 block of Kenmore, and the guy said, I was four years old. I was taking naps in the afternoon. I didn't go to that fire. You lose sight of that when the night yeah. you go. Yeah, you do. Yeah. 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 I said to him, I was trying to be on my best behavior, meaning who became my son-in-law yeah. later. Yeah. And uh, he was my, my daughter, was, my, I know she's 36 now, so he was a little bit older than her. But going back 10 years, that's about uh, 26, 28 yeah. maybe he was. And his dad was in the Navy. Well, my dad was in the Navy. I was even thinking, I said, well, <laughs> Sean, was your, was your father in World War II? Yeah. <laughs> what did I just say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he says, how old do they think I am? Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put your foot right in the mouth. Okay? Right. <laughs> Got it. John, we're taking a break. I got to run upstairs. <laughs> oh, I have something for you.